about uh, a journey that we have had in the last two years. Uh, I work out of uh, Hyderabad, actually, I'm very close to this uh, campus. Uh, and in the process, basically, I'm going to share the journey of building a new product sitting out of India. Uh, but of course, it's a global product, but designed for India and for emerging market. And in a very crowded space, people talked about this problem of crowded space. Uh, this is a crowded space. So it, uh, and I will share some of our learning and how we have gone about doing that. So basically, this is innovating for India. Uh, it's a product we built, Kaizala, we shipped it about a month back in India. Um, sorry. This is working? OK, great. So this journey started about two years back when me and my team were building office product for the phones, like Word, Excel, PowerPoint. And if you have any product, any office app on your phone, uh, that's built in the team here, actually, in, in India. Actually. Uh, and then I remember talking to Satya, and Satya said, OK, great, you're doing this. But is that what people want? Is that what productivity is on the phone? And the answer, I said, hey, I don't know. Well, I know we need to do this. But is this all? Probably not. So we said, hey, let's go figure it out. And basically, last two years, me and my team has been doing a lot of customer research. Can you just, uh, whenever I say, just uh, press it, because I don't think this is working. All right. If you step back and look at the whole world, there is about close to a billion desktop today, and it's about 2.8 billion for smartphones, by the way, not phones, but smartphones. That means there are almost a billion people who have, don't have a desktop, but it becomes even worse. In five years, we'll have maybe 1.3 billion desktop, but there will be about 6.2 billion smartphones on this planet. That means there will be about three to four billion people on this planet whose only computing device is going to be a phone. What is productivity for them? That because Microsoft is a platform and a productivity company. How do we make them productive? And that's something that we have to go solve. If you, we as a company have to want to continue to be a leader in productivity. So what we did, me, my team, uh, basically we went around the world. Uh, we have been to almost uh, 15 to 20 countries. I've lost track uh, all around the world. Uh, we have met more than. 1,600 people. I personally have met maybe 1,000 people and really developed a world view of how people are using phone for getting their work done. Right? And there is this country, China, are leaders. And I'll tell you, China is, uh, is it, it epitomizes what is possible with the phone. You know WeChat, how many, many of you probably know WeChat. Can you guess how much money transfers happens through that little app? It's in billions of dollars. It's $55 billion. And you think it's a per year. It is per month. That is means it's a $600 billion money flow through that little app. That's more than half a trillion. That's probably in the top 15 economy of, the, of this planet. And that is the power that we are, we are having, that we have in this phone. So China actually represents a great way how the world is going to change. And India is right behind that. Right? And India, Philippines, Brazil, they all have their own favorite chat app. Right? And so anyway, so what I'm going to do is next five slides, I'm going to talk about five key learnings from talking to these thousands of people around the world. Number one is work is getting done on chat app. Chat. It's chat, not chat app, chat. Right? People, I have seen people who will take the photo of an Excel sheet and send that picture on a chat app. And then in the evening, the sales people will send back saying, okay, I made this three, three, three uh, customers that you told me, I sold this one. It's again coming on email or on chat, some, some chat app or text. And what does the other person do? The sales manager, they take those and they put it again in Excel sheet. That's how work is getting done. But that's very clumsy. That's not really leveraging the digital economy, the digital power that we have. So that's number one. The second is people are really looking for structure in unstructured conversation. That example is a unstructured to structure, structure to unstructure. But here's another example. I was talking to some manager and she said, look, I have only 50 people. And I say on some chat app, are you coming this Saturday because there's a delivery to be done? 
people say yes, no, maybe, I changed my, change my mind and at the end of the day when she goes and looks at the, uh, at first she has to go up because there are 100 other messages in the middle, up and down and then she finds out okay, how many yes, how many no, but then she doesn't know who did not respond. Right? And that's the real problem. Right? The thing, our, our customers have told us this. So anyway, so they are really looking for structure. How do you get structure in your structure? That's the that's what the second ask or insight. The other one is the people want to mirror the real world groups. Most of the chat work, and they're dying with dozen chat apps actually this planet. And source uh, open source has like 15 other ones. Uh, all the chat apps have a very flat group, either one-on-one -on -one or flat group, but the world is not flat. World might be, actually I'll say, world might be flat, but organizations are not flat. There's one CEO, there's a bunch of directors underneath, there's a whole bunch of ICs, and they, when the CEO sends a message, they want the message to go to everybody. But the CEO doesn't want to hear all the chatter in the HR department or in the finance department. So you really have to set it up in a hierarchical way, for example. Right, so really that is the third uh, learning for me. The fourth learning is basically if you want to use, if you want, if you really build an app for phone, you have to leverage those capabilities. And I'll tell you an example. I went to Ranchi. I went to actually a lot of third tier cities like Ranchi, Mombasa, and Kenya to understand whether this mobile phenomena is a developed. Like, like tier city one problem, or like is it a phenomenon that is in smaller cities? There's one, this guy in uh, Rashi, he's a distributor of ACC cement, and they spent over 90,000 rupees to develop a very simple app but very sophisticated app. Somebody from Bombay developed this app to basically track salespeople. And the, so, if I'm the salespeople person for that company, I'll be told go to these places and do it. Basically, do a photo check-in, and photo check-in is really about uh, basically it will capture the time, the location because GPS is there, and the picture in the background of that wherever I am. So really, this app is leveraging the device capabilities like GPS. You can use accelerometer. You can you can use camera. That you'll never build that kind of an app on a desktop. So saying okay, we'll just bring the desktop app is actually not going to work. You've got to develop apps that are designed mobile first, right, or mobile only. So anyway, that's the fourth one. And the last but not the least is, and this just goes that, hey, this, again, the Rashi example is a great one that even for third tier countries or third tier cities or underdeveloped countries, they expect very sophisticated solution. You can't say, okay, because they are in Rashi, we'll just do, develop an average application and, and give it to them because the expectations are very, very high. Okay? So those are the five uh, insights that I want to share. So with that insight, we actually started, like last January, we built this, app, this application. And we started working with customers. And I'll say this is one product that is developed by, really by understanding customer needs observing the changing nature of how the work is evolving in these emerging markets. It is changing actually, by the way. The work is not the same between 15 years back and now. And how do you meet those needs? So we were doing that and then we basically in the beginning, because we had talked to many small businesses, we focused on small business. So we started working with Dwakra. That's in Dwakra is in AP and Tilangana, development of women and children in rural areas. And I met Krishna Mohan, uh, CEO sir in Vijayawada, and we said, hey, we would love to help your uh, woman in villages who builds these artifacts and wants to sell their products on Amazon.com or, uh, or .in or in Flipkart. And can we connect them into the, with, the, with, the, with the, these, uh, these sites? What, we, what happened was that not that they started using this, it, the Dwakara organization used, started using for 7,000 people. And he happens to be a friend of the CM sir. And then suddenly we get a call from CM sir. And I met him like Friday and I got a call from the CM office saying, can you come and show this app? And we went there and we met this person. We had no idea after all the security. And uh, this just shows if you serve one customer very well, how the doors open actually. Because that person was very happy with that 
basically uh, CM this sir. Anyway, so we met Pradhinna sir. He was the IT secretary at that time. And I didn't know him that time. We, I'm just saying, hey, I need to get out of this place because it's late afternoon, 2 o'clock, I'm going to eat. Uh, and he said, wait, wait, wait. And he went inside the office and he comes back and says, sir, what I do, sir, wants to meet you. And I said, well, we are not ready. We are in the Microsoft guys. I'm dressed up right now, a t-shirt, jeans. And uh, anyway, so he met us. And very quickly, they decided to use Kaizara to run this event called Pushkaram last year, which is uh, like uh, Kumbh Mela, right, in North, uh, in Allahabad, where almost 14 million people were expected to come, 20 million came. And the whole event run ran on Kaizara. Basically, uh, Kaizara got used in the Pushkaram event for 12 days uh, to manage the whole event. And the way it was used is, is the following way. This app was used to communicate across 20,000 people who were organizing the event. Uh, there was this control room with lots of TVs, of the, all the CCTVs coming in. Um, and basically, they would use Kaizala to communicate with these guards and design jobs. Like if there was food missing in one place, basically they, the message would come and they would send the message back to or assign the job to, uh, to the people who were involved in the food department and things like that. So they did that. After the Pushkar event, uh, AP government decided to use Kaizala for running their whole government. Now we have, they deployed in the six months last year from August to uh, January this year, they deployed Kaizala across all the 295,000 employees. Uh, well, about 53 departments in Andhra Pradesh government is running on Kaizala. Uh, there's lots of scenarios that I can talk about. So one of the scenarios, because I can't show you the video, I'll just tell you the example where uh, they use Kaizala to connect with the pension fund, like pension fund office now uses Kaizala to do photo check-in of people coming in. And the way they get pension is you do fingerprint. And if the fingerprint is not there today, uh, if for old people, they, today they would have, or before, they would have actually overridden that, the manager could override and give the pension. Now they ask them to okay, do a photo check-in, just like the Rashi guy, with the photos, and the percentage of people without uh, thumbprint went down from 13% to 6%. Transparency. That's what it does. So anyway, that's there. That was, I, I, the, then they said, okay, this is great. Now I want to connect with all the citizens. So what we have done is we have created this uh, concept, and I'll talk about that, which is public group, where in this product, you can just create the group, make it public, and geofence it. So if you download Kaizala today, you can actually go to the Discover page, and you can click AP CM Connect Group, and you can become a member of the group. There's almost 80,000 people in that group. And there you can assign cards, like you can give feedback. They get almost 60 to 70,000 feedback every, every week, by the way. To the, to the car concept, and we talked about that. Uh, last three weeks back, they introduced a new card in the, in the chat app, which is anti-corruption card. In the first five days, they got 2,100 corruption reports with proof. The fourth day, they investigated one corruption, seven people got the money back, from anywhere from 500 rupees to five lakh rupees. So that is changing. That is changing India. I think India can be a leader in terms of in terms of good governance. So, so that's one customer. Uh, can we go? So anyway, so with that learning, what we can you go to the next one quickly because we lost some time. Uh, we basically pivoted to large businesses because we started a small business. The fact that we can learn, uh, we can run a government. Uh, gave us the confidence that we can actually uh, go uh, work with like EPG or large customers and uh, connect all the, see the other thing in India, even for large customers, it's like 80, 20, 20% 20 of the people are sitting on the desktop with a desk, on a desk with a desktop. 80% of the people are actually on the field or only has phone. How do you connect with them? So that is the front line of first line worker connection. We did that. The second one is there are companies where a lot of the people are like vendors or part-time workers. How do you connect with them? 
right? They are not like this country and many of the emerging market countries is not an email country. It's really a chat country, right? So that, that's the extended uh, stakeholders. And then consumers and citizens, we talked about the APCM Connect. If you go to Kaisala again, you can go to the public group, uh, discover page, and you can see TV Republic is a public group. You just click and you can become a member of their network and you can get news and like uh, news, uh, they do surveys, they, they do announcements of the earners, uh, earners like timing of the discussion and things like that. So you can actually connect with customers also. So what is Kazala? At the very base level, it is just like a chat app that is designed for India, made for emerging market, secured just like any chat app and available on the platform. And you'll say, oh, what's the big deal about that? And that's what I was saying, it is a crowded market. There's at least 10 chat apps in this planet. We don't need any more chat apps. But what we did was we pivoted for large businesses. So how are we different? We are different in like six different ways. Number one, what we said, most of the chat apps, by the way, has a limitation, even for a flat group of 256 to maybe 1,000. 1,000 is like Telegram, the largest. We, we said you can create a group of millions of people. But then if you create a million of people group, then it will be so noisy, you will not be able to read it. It's not it's impossible to do that. That's just a, uh, that's just, uh, basically one thing is, okay, it is unlimited size, but really what people are asking is hierarchical group. For example, in AP government, when the CMs are sensitive, then all the 295,000 people get it. It's the eight level D hierarchy. But you're sending it to three lakh people. Similarly, we haven't found any group which is a million people yet. Though we have hope that Dwakra, when we connect all the women, there will be about eight or eight million women people, women connected with the Dwakra organization. Almost three million have smartphone. We have reached about seventy thousand. We are hoping we'll get to a couple of million people, women who can actually get connected with the organization, real time, so that they can get message or connected or get feedback within seconds. So that's number one. Then I talked about the, the, the public group concept. The other concept that we have developed is the hub and spoke so that you can, uh, when, the CM, when the CM public, CM connect group, for example, or TV Republic group, for example, when you become a member, you talk to that person or that organization one-on-one. -on -one. When you send a feedback, it's one-on-one. -on -one. It's not like Twitter. Because Twitter, may, Twitter the troll happens. Somebody says negative, everybody starts saying negative. So when you, when Salman Nagy sends out uh, a survey, he gets 60,000 to 70,000 feedback. They don't know about each other. These are very untainted view of the citizens actually. So that's the other one. So that's one. The other thing that we did, which I think is the very clever thing, is we extended the chat application in a very careful way so that you could actually run apps in that. Just like you can send a picture or contact, imagine you can send a card which is a quick poll card. And quick poll card, you can create it like five seconds. Are you coming this Saturday? Yes, no, maybe, and you send it. All 295,000 people can actually respond and I can actually go, when I go back, after maybe two days, forget eight hours, I click on the card, at the back of the card, I'll see how many are coming, how many who are not, how many are not coming. I click on the who's coming, I can see the names of the people coming. The best part is, at the bottom, you'll know who are who not responded. And you can press. Okay. Okay, I, my time is up, so I'm going to uh, accelerate. Okay. Uh, but anyway, so the point is that even in this crowded market, uh, we can, you can create innovation if you pay attention to the customer factor. So that's the game. The third is, th that's the differentiation. Microsoft is good in terms of extensibility, in terms of um, uh, security, scalability, data ownership, manageability. We brought all the power of backend of Exchange and Office 365 into this set, a simple chat interface. And that makes it, and it is extensible. These cards, we cannot build all of them. So what we have done is we have extended it so that you can create the own, own cards. Cards are nothing but mini apps. And one of the problems in this world today is that is app fatigue is real. People don't want to download apps. People talk about hundreds of millions of apps, but imagine how many do you use? Maybe less than 10, most of us. 
because nobody has the patience to go download new apps. In this case, because we have done it in the Kazala platform, we actually can bring the card for that group in that group if you are part of that group. So you don't have to uh, go look for it. Actually, it automatically downloads. So I'm going to just quickly skip it. Uh, case studies, I'm going to uh, just talk about one or two and then move on. Uh, we can just uh, skip this. TV Republic, we already talked about. Um, that's one. Uh, yes Bank uh, rolled out to 22,000 of their employees. Uh, their, their scenario is to be able to serve the customer better so that when I am a sales representative, I go talk to somebody like Anand uh, and he complains about some issue, check. I can just send the raise that ask from Kaizala and go to the back, go to Seattle, Seattle system in the back. So anyway, so that's the kind of uh, thing we are doing. We already talked about Duakra and I'm going to end my talk over here by saying the I would say the main the three things I would say. Number one, the reason we were able to create this uh, which is being very well received by the customer is because of the uh, focus we had from day one to understand and learn the customer deeply. Understand, understand, not just try to copy. Don't copy your competition, understand what their needs are and there's always space, number one. The number two is we never try to add too many features. We have a lot of ideas but we only add feature when customer asks for it. So grow with the customer. Don't just, we, we are too smart and we can fill the product with lots of features, but 70% or 80% of features then get used. So we are being very careful there. So with that, I'm going to end my talk. Uh, thank you. I can take any questions if there's any questions time, but maybe not. Thank you, Rajiv.